Hi, CPL everyone. This is SLE worksheet number 14. I'm going to go ahead and solve, distribute over. So I get 5x plus 15 is equal to negative 10. Go ahead and subtract 15 from both sides. So I get 5x equals negative 25. Divide your side by 5. And it looks like we're going to get uh, negative 5 for an answer. Number three, uh, we have denominators of 4, 4, 3, and 6. The smallest number that 4, 4, 3, and 6 all go into would be 12. So I'm going to multiply everything by 12. So 4 goes into 12 three times. 3 times the 3x is going to give me 9x. Minus 4 goes into 12 um, three times. So that becomes minus 3x. 3 goes into 12 four times. 4 times 5 is 20. And then 6 goes into 12 twice. 2 times 25 is 50. So that's going to give me 6x plus 20 is equal to 50. And now we can go ahead and solve it. So subtract 20 from both sides. So I get 6x equals 30. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. x equals 5. Number 5, uh, looks like we have two denominators. We have a 2 and a 4. So 4 is the number that they both go into, the smallest number that they both do. So I multiply everything by 4. So that's going to give me 8x. Half of 4 is 2, so I get minus 2x plus 8, because 4 times 2 is 8. And then 4 is cancel, minus 7x equals 40. And we're going to combine like terms. That's going to give me 6x minus 7x, which is going to give me negative x plus 8 equals 40. Go ahead and subtract 8 from both sides. So I'm going to get negative x equals 32, and then change the signs on both sides by multiplying each side by a negative. Okay, problem number seven says half the difference between a number and 12 is 15. So difference means subtract, is, is, or equal. So half the di difference between a number and 12, so half between a number and 12 is 15. So we can go ahead and go multiply everything by 2 to get rid of that denominator. So that's going to give me x minus 24 equals 30. Add 24 to both sides, so it looks like I'm going to get 54. Uh, number 9, the sum of 3 times a number and 6 is 27. So sum means plus. This is our equal, is is equal. So the sum of 3 times a number and 6 is 27. Okay, Go ahead and distribute that. That's going to be 3x plus 18 equals 27. Subtract 18 from both sides. So I'm going to get 3x is equal to 9. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 3. Number 11, find four consecutive even integers with a sum of negative 52. So even, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8. But remember, um, even also could be negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, like that. So four consecutive even. So x, and then the next number would be x plus 2. The next number after that would be x plus 4. The next number after that would be x plus 6 equals negative 52. So this is 1, 2, 3. There's our four numbers. So x, 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 and x added together gives me 4x. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus another 6 is 12, equals negative 52. Uh, let's go ahead and subtract 12. So that's going to be 4x equals uh, negative 64. Divide each side by 4. So x equals negative, uh, negative 16. So I get negative 16 is my first number. If I add to that, I get to negative 14. If I get add 4 to the original, I get uh, negative 12. If I add 6 to the original, I get negative 10. Number 13, I want you to note 13 and 15 are done the same way. These are consecutive odd, which are d d uh, by 4. So first one's x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. So here's my four numbers. Sum means they're added up. So if I add the x's up, I get 4x plus 12 because 2 and 4 and 6 add together to give me 12 equals 200. Uh, subtract 12 from both sides. So I'm going to get uh, 4x is equal to 188. Divide each side by 4. So x is equal to 47. So the first number is 47. Add 2 to that, I get to 49. If I add 4 to 47, I get to 51. If I add 6 to 47, I get to 53. So 47, 49, 51, 53. And I think that's it.